Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament 7. There is some. Oh my god, there's so many weird costumes for King. It's time for that boy. <laughs> oh, why am I so. Oh. Wow, this has taken a lot to load. Like, look at the glass. Shoot the glass. Hmm. There we go. There's some really cool options for King. He's got some cool wrestling gear you can put on him. <laughs> and then there's this. What the fuck? <laughs> I love these. Oh. No. No. Sir. I didn't know this was a weapons match in, in the volcano. In the devil's pit. Okay. Yeah! Clipped him out with the feats. Fight. Let me just get my buttons. There we go. Yeah! <laughs> air grabs. We got air grabs. We got whiffs that lead to feints. He just blocked a flying kick. Here we go. <laughs> You'll see me get used to the buttons. Here is how you can tell I'm getting used to the buttons again. With my son <laughs> here. Uh, I will be mostly strike based and then gradually just try and put more and more technical throws in as time goes by. But like, I have to find the notebook that I have, which is literally just the flow chart for all of King's like link throws, because he has these ones where you like if you don't know if people. Oh, that's pretty quick. Round two. Man, I don't like Jack. When I first played Tekken Tag One on my PlayStation Two, I was like, "Oh, Jack is a big robot. I'm just gonna play dumb gimmick gimmick characters." And then over time, was like, "Oh." I do not like this move set, so I just stopped. <laughs> you know when you were like a kid. <laughs> when you're like a kid and it's like, I can play as an alien. I can play as like the devil. <laughs> and that's what gets you in. I can play as a kangaroo or as gone. And then gradually you just like, oh, I'm gonna actually play this game for realsies and find a character whose moveset I like, and then even now... <laughs> He's cosplaying bold Brian Fury. This looks like someone you would take mi side missions from in a Yakuza game. <laughs> Whatever you were gonna do, Fung, you just got immediately, like, cancelled out by my throw. <laughs> yeah, convict kick. Or is it disgraceful kick? I forget. Lol! <laughs> Frankensteiner! No! No! You're not allowed to hit me! <clears throat> just punish. Simple punishing. So, yeah. A while ago, actually like, oh shit, it's been like five years or something, I just went through this game on my friend's PC and made like a shortcut list of how to do like the chain link throws where he grabs you and then he puts you in a submission hold and then he does like half crab, Boston half crab to this, to that, to the other, to the other, to the other, and finishes with a giant swing and all of this shit, or muscle buster finish that he can do and just wrote down all the button combos in a very easy branching flowchart to look at because the in-game interface is not very clear on what links to what without you having to have like a diagram 
and I have that book somewhere and I don't expect that to happen today because I wasn't using it. <laughs> I have to use visual aids. I'm a visual learner. No, Jin. Stop. Let me win. He must win. This is what who Reedon was talking about. Oh. Round two. Fight. Okay, like complaints about Jin's character design. He's completely fine until you realize he's wearing Wellington boots that are bright pink. And then you're like, why? <laughs> why are they not another color? They look ridiculous. <laughs> Frankensteiner for the win. Final round. Fight. <laughs> He's like Nero, if you hit him his hood falls off. There we go. Oh, fucked it. Mash too hard. Shit. No. No! Fuck! <laughs> Just kick him in the face. The ancient bloodline technique of King and his orphanage kicking someone in the face. I love King's storyline, it is the most ridiculous and therefore the most accurate to actual luchador and Mexican wrestling storylines ever where it's like, I'm wrestling for the kids, for the orphanage. And then like there's multiple kings <laughs> and then there's like multiple armor kings who are also armor king and then Craig Marduk kills armor king and armor king comes back for revenge while they're at the grave of armor king <laughs> and you're just like what the fuck is this it's the best plot line it's amazing and I wouldn't change it for anything one of the plot lines in the Tekken series is King is winning the Iron Fist tournament so the kids can have Christmas presents at the orphanage and that's just so wholesome. Everyone else is like world domination and he's like, for the kids. <laughs> like, charitable fellow. And you never see his face, it's so cool. At this point if you showed King's face it wouldn't even matter. Because it's like no one knows what he looks like, so there's like no reference like unless he takes the mask off and he's another Tekken character or if he takes his mask off and he's a Street Fighter character. <laughs> he pulls off his mask and underneath it's Dan Hibiki. <laughs> and you're like, wait, what? <laughs> oh my god. I'm talking bullshit. <laughs> oh, it's Akumi. Akuma is canon in everything. Fight me. <laughs> Someone once said to me, there's an Akuma card now in like, what was it? Like in uh, Magic the Gathering or something. And they were like, they were, they were a big Magic fan. And I was like, yeah, that means he's canon now, and he was really pissed off because he's like, no, no, not everything in that magic puts in for profit is canon. And I'm like, no, Akuma forces canon into everything. Like, he is canon in Tekken. <laughs> and uh, integral parts of the plot. He's playable in Monster Hunter. That obviously means he's canon to Monster Hunter, and he's just wandering around because he's one of those characters... <clears throat> He's one of those characters where it's realistic to believe he's just wandering around fighting random things off screen because he's just like, that's what he does. And he doesn't necessarily like affect the plot much, but like that means he's technically in universe canon. Wait. Oh, okay. I lost that one. Oh shit. I don't think I'm going to win this one. Oh, <laughs> I'm getting Ghost Shoryuken. No, he's going to perfect me. This is embarrassing. No. I got perfected. Oh, my God. Depressed. 
Okay, we'll try again. Can I just retry or I, I don't actually read the UI? I can't read that language. Sorry. Oh, you didn't get to refight him. I thought we, we could have a real match there. Now I have to fight Jack again. Oh, this is a bit of jokes now. Hang on. Let me get back in. No, no. Oh. Okay, this is kind of jank. There we go. Okay, just some basic kicks. There we go. Just try and get my confidence back up now. Good, good, good. Ah, oh, too late. Way too late with that. No, not happening. There we go. Basic, like, standard throw. Not very fancy, I know, but, like, shit. Fuck. Ah, oh, they keep making me fight Jack lately. I know it's kind of cheap, but he had one hit. <laughs> and I can't keep losing. I look like a loser. Oh. I, I try not to use the Rage Arts. I feel like they're kind of like... It's, a, it's an interesting mechanic, I like it, but I just feel like it's kind of like... I feel like I'm cheating if I do that, you know? Because it's like just a button and it does a lot of damage, like you just hit R, R1 or RB, or you can, or just a simple button combo and you've just got a super, just... I don't know if Tekken's really <clears throat> a super thing for me. It's never really had them and now I feel weird about using it. <laughs> But I'm gonna <laughs> throw this devil. That'll put him in his place. Ah, oh, it's a double speed match, I forgot. That's why it's kind of jank and weird. Just get this over with. Fuck. Yeah. Lots of recovery on that chest slam move that I just did. This it kind of leaves you open for too long. Ah, oh, I hate using this move. I feel so like cheap now because the AI really blocks it. Oh my god! <laughs> this is not going well. Oh, why did I stop? Fuck. There we go. Gotta cash in that damage. You can tell there's always gaps between my playing. I really get into Tekken and then I stop playing. <laughs> and then it's like half a year almost and then I go, oh, I'll play some Tekken and then I'm rusty as all hell. Oh. So yeah, Akuma is canon in everything. I don't care. If you see him, he's canon. <laughs> he exists in the universe. If he affects the story, he's canon. So I'm always just like, yeah, he's canon in everything now. I'm sure there's a chart out there that you can make where it's like, oh, he's actually part of the MCU technically now. Because he was in uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, so... <laughs> and his best friend is Wolverine. I feel like they get on well. I feel like both of them are kind of short kings. I'm not really sure how tall Akuma is, but I feel like he's like Wolverine's height, you know? Oh! <laughs> Block your god fist. This old man in a do-rag approaches you. What do you do? <laughs> Break his legs. <laughs> Put you back in the nursing home, Grandpa. <laughs> Just 
swung at this old man. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to keep going now until I lose because I just feel like that uh, Akuma fight was a little jank, but like I could have done it if I wasn't just, you know, trying to get the hang of things again. So. I hope you're ready. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm scared. Someone pick me up. I, I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> Big fat leather daddy. Are we playing? Are we playing Street Fighter Four again? <laughs> no, he's angry. I perfected him, sir. I can't believe Bob is so popular that he got in before Lei Wu Long. I don't, I don't really know the amount of player base, but obviously he's popular. Because I remember the uh, interview with the guys at Tekken and people were like, why isn't this guy in? Why isn't that girl in? And they were like, oh yeah, well we chose people based on their most played and the data from that and stuff. And, you know, some people say they want this character, but then like, no one plays him. Like, where's Ganryu? No one plays Ganryu. And then I was like, really? Does Bob have a huge player base? Does she have a huge player base? What's her name? Fuck, it doesn't tell me. Just know a sleepy vampire lady. I know she was in that weird free-to-play game. That no one remembers. And I think a movie? I think she was in a movie that I also didn't watch. Jesus, what's with the dive kicks? Please, no. No! Oh, good. Her super's a tiger knee. It screwed her over there. If that uh, super had OTG'd at all, I would have been fucked. Gotta remember to block low occasionally. <laughs> Fuck. On reaction, I will just throw you. <laughs> Okay, you're just going to interrupt me with those low punches. What is this? Virtua Fighter? <laughs> Murdered. I'm now Vampire Hunter. <laughs> yeah, I get Da Vinci wings for that. Da Vinci? Why, why did I remember that shitty meme? <laughs> oh, my mind is broken by internet memes. To the point that I sometimes call my cat Dat Boy. Seriously. So I, I've played a bit of Katarina because I was interested because she's kick, kick, mega kick, super kick lady and I like kick characters. But like, I just can't get behind her design. I'm sorry. I just, you know, to be honest with a lot of the new characters introduced in 7, it's just like lots of waifu bait and like, I'm just a bit like, uh, you know, like Gigas. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, I was so close. Look at that little health she had. Ha ha ha. Uh, not being funny, her posture is like terrible. Like why is she throwing her back forwards like that? Just to kind of show off her boobs. Like she's literally like, it's like she's pushing her shoulder blades back all the time to get that pose and I'm like that must be super bad for your back 
Maybe I have bad posture. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, I should be doing actual technical commentary, not saying weird bullshit. Oh. Uh. I mean, Josie's pretty cool. I like Josie's moveset, but she's one of those characters, you know, like... Uh, same as that character in Soul Calibur who's like, I'm scared and crying and I don't want to fight you. And it's like the trope that you see in a lot of fighting games and you're like, ugh. Like, oh, gee gosh, I didn't want to enter this fighting tournament I signed up for. <laughs> like, oh. There we go. Tier 1, a twister, bish. Come on. Oh, no, don't, don't magic pixel. No! There. Just, just a quick punch. <laughs> Tombstone. Fuck. See, the problem is I get too bogged down in doing random things throws and then it becomes like an issue when they don't land because I'm open for a long time. <laughs> Just do the four hits of the ten hit. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. What did what's in the box, man? Nothing. Oh. The crossing sign. <laughs> Yeah, I like Josie as like a move set. Oh no, it's Nina. I don't like Nina as a move set. Nina and Julia, they just annoy me because it's like, what martial art is this? You're just kind of like, what is that move? How would that create force? She's just pushing her hands out at you like, uh, like an anime push thing and it's supposed to be a martial art and you're like, that? What are you gonna do with that? That doesn't. That's not a move. That's not a move. I know a lot of people that like Nina and think she's attractive. She's really, I really don't like Nina. But I really don't like these characters, her or her sister. And I'm sorry. Like, I just don't understand the appeal. But maybe it's there. I don't know. Because I just don't like... I'm here to play a game with the martial arts in and I don't understand the martial arts she's supposed to be representing and it looks fake as all balls because it's just, hey, I kick occasionally and then I do these weird grasping anime handout stretched thing. It's kind of like Lars where you're like, you can tell this isn't a real martial art because he's dive kicking and flipping all over and you're like doing shit that humans can't do and it's like, oh, like... Yeah, keep my tech and realistic with my boxing kangaroo, but you know what I mean? Giant swing! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Swung her out of the match. King, why did you just beat up this newlywed? <laughs> Yeah, like, no offense to those characters. Like, I'm sure they have a big, like, fan base and shit. I know they do. How many Jacks in this one? <laughs> Straight to throw. It's valid. A lot of clashing and bad trades for me lately. Oh, shit. I don't like Fast Jack. Fast Jack, he can leave. Oh, no, this ain't gonna work. It worked. I hate that it worked. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna find out rage arts are like banned in tournaments and that I'm a huge hack for using them. <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, one of my friends used to like, 
not not to call him out much. He used to play <laughs> Street Fighter V on a keyboard, and I was like, "What the hell are you doing?" And he's like, "Oh, it's cleaner inputs." And then I found out that he couldn't throw on his keyboard because it couldn't register two keyboard inputs at once. So he was using macros for throws. And I felt like that's super cheap because macros are kind of banned at tournament level because it's bullshit. <laughs> like, you know, it's kind of cheating because you could just input like a perfect 10 hit combo or something and call that a macro and go, there you go. Or like all your specials to macros. He was just doing the standard throw, you know, like for tech and like the two face buttons for one button, but still felt a bit like, you know, Macros, not even once. <laughs> but who who plays a fighting game on a keyboard or with a keyboard and mouse anyway? I've never seen that. I was saying to him, you like you use a pad or you use a stick normally. Wait, who is this? Oh, it's Julia. Didn't recognize her with all of the stuff. I'm kind of remind you. Someone has to remind me. What is Julia's martial art? What is she supposed to represent? I because like I've seen it so much in the in the games, and I'm like, wait, is this like a type of kung fu? It looks like a type of kung fu or something. Maybe I'm stupid. I'm getting my ass beat. Oh, bad trade. Bad punch. Oh. Should have gone for the low grab. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. I'm going to lose. Oh. I'm going to cheese it out. It's not going to help me, but like... At least I got the hit in. At least I got another hit. Oh. Oh, low kick. Oh! Slapped. Kidney punch. Okay, Julia, calm down. I'm just doing this so she doesn't perfect me. Oh. <laughs> Embarrassing. Can I bring it back? Not if I do that. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. No. Perhaps if I blocked low <laughs> at any point. I don't understand your gimmick anymore, lady.